<laughs> All right, he's currently appearing on Broadway in School for Scandal. It didn't stop Tony Randall from taking a bride just a few weeks ago in a wedding that got uh, lots of uh, publicity. Uh, and so here they are, Mr. and Mrs. Tony Randall. Tony and Heather Randall. <laughs> German swimmer. No. <laughs> you know, they're not yeah. kidding. I have seen these two, I mean, before they were sure, married. Please. Sure, please. Uh, at, maybe at the David Letterman show in the green room, or once I got in an elevator in that building, and there they were, and they, they're really? always wrestling. She had them in an arm lock or something. <laughs> they're very physical, very tactile. Very physical. <laughs> but how many fellows are that lucky? <laughs> I never have to walk. <laughs> <laughs> she just... carries me around okay. the house. Isn't did, it nice you don't have to? Did yeah. she carry you over the threshold? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she actually is the one who proposed, from what That's I understand. That's right. Yes, I am. Now listen, how did that happen? I, I've got to hear it by myself now. You proposed to him. I wore him down. Uh huh. <laughs> you are a strong I asked woman. him every day. <laughs> That's the truth. Did she really? I yes. cried a lot. Yes. Mm -hmm. really? I begged a lot. Yeah. yeah finally. And you, you loved her, but you were hesitant. Why? <laughs> That's the dumbest question I was ever asked. Why is it dumb? You adored this woman every time we see you. I, I know it. you had a lovely marriage before, and yes. you were four years of loneliness since your wife passed away. Yes. Why didn't you say yes the first time? You've heard dumber questions, and I'll ask one, a dumber one next time. I thought I, I, thought I was too old for her. Well. No. 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 Someone said yes. Someone said yes. <laughs> That's a riot. Yeah. Well, yeah. did you discuss this factor? I mean, yes, of course. Yes. Yeah. You didn't think I he didn't was, care. did you? Heather. Kathy Lee has a great marriage. <laughs> <laughs> She's right. You all have just a, a little more than we do, but uh, like. you know what? When you're in love, who counts? That's exactly you know, right. Yeah, yeah, when you're in love. And, you, you know, I'd rather, I've always said, I'd rather have 10 years with somebody I adore than a, a lifetime with somebody I can't stand. And in 10 years, I'll only be 95. That's exactly right. <laughs> no, he's 85. only 85. <laughs> he's only kidding. But, but you know what? You're <clears throat> so in love, Tony. You seem like you're 50 now. You seem so happy. And for those of us who... 50 is old. <laughs> I thought you were going to say 30. I just can't, can't make Tony think, happy you today, can't can say I? can't anything right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, we have some pictures here oh. of, of the wedding itself. Yeah. And I tell you what, let me take a break. We'll come back. We'll show these pictures, and we'll talk a little more, okay? <laughs> Remember um, on the day after uh, our anniversary, Joy and mine, Yes. Uh, I told you we went out to La Cirque that Cirque. night. Can she carry you around? No, no, she can't. <laughs> but in walked Tony and Heather. And you made a big And that was the first time event. I saw Heather and mm -hmm. Tony together. And when's your anniversary reach? And that'll tell us how long ago this was. March 1st. Okay, so. Yeah. And had you guys just started dating around March? Yes, yes. exactly right. Well, I mean, there was giggling, there was laughing, you know, <laughs> the La Cirque crowd, they were... Everybody was you were having far too much fun. Yes. <laughs> Couldn't take our eyes off you, this gorgeous blonde. You mentioned it the next day. Yes. Gorgeous blonde. Yes. Mm. And what did you think when I mentioned it? <laughs> I never watch your that? show. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody called him. Yes. Yeah. It yeah. had no effect whatsoever on his life. You know what that I remember is, is a year ago working with Tony on my Christmas special mm. last year. And it is a completely different man you're seeing in front of you yeah. today. I mean, you were, sure. you were tired and sad and lonely last year. You broke my heart. And now... Oh. <laughs> now arrested. everyone's jealous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so anyway, she proposes, you yeah. finally accept, and the wedding is held in the City Hall, was it? Or in, in the, the precinct? City Hall. Yeah. City Hall. Yeah. The mayor himself presided, Mayor Rudy Giuliani. Now, were you nervous? Yeah. No, I was touched. Yeah, you said that, yeah. yeah. He, he had found a, an old uh, English service from, from a prayer book of about 1750, something like that. And it was so beautiful. That uh, I was, I, I felt. You teared uh, up. Uh, yes, yes. And what That's about you, Heather? I was worried about um, 
<laughs> not tensing my face because all the photographers were there. Yeah, they were all shooting. <laughs> and incidentally, Tony, I see that uh, we're lucky enough that you're wearing your wedding tie on the show today. No, different no, ones. Those are different. You're kidding me. No. Well. However, since you mentioned it. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. He is a blue man, isn't oh. he? Oh. Oh. oh, my. And then, of course, comes the kids. Now, take a look at, at these two. And look at Tony Randall. Looks like a young, leading man He there. sure does. Wow. I think it's fabulous. <laughs> fabulous. You know, so I know you, your, your wife suffered a great deal, your first wife. And, and, and that, you know, and you were there with her. And you'll, you'll have unbelievable memories for the rest of your life of that yes. long-term marriage that you had. Fifty-four years. Fifty-four years. Yep. So then to find a second chance at happiness is extraordinary. Most people well, don't get one time, you know, much less like two. Uh, it is, to be serious a moment, when you think uh, maybe uh, you'll never love again and you're devastated and then a present comes. Yes, mm. a gift Someone like says, this is for you. How did yeah. you meet anyway? Uh -oh. she, was, she was working for me. <laughs> but I paid no attention to her. She was one of our interns. We had a dozen interns. I really had not noticed her. And then uh, about a year ago, we met again and... I thought, I'd overlook this. <laughs> <laughs> you I overlooked this. You weren't emotionally ready, so no. you weren't seeing. No, yeah. that's exactly right. Mm -hmm. Now, Heather's an understudy at the School for Scandal. The school for Scandal. Yeah. yeah. That's got to be the toughest job in the whole world, being primed and ready to go and then <laughs> being let down again every night. It's, it's very nerve-wracking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, an understudy went on last week in one of the lead roles, and I thought, I never need to do this. I never need to do this. Mm -hmm. I don't need to go on. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very scary. At what and point you get are one you rehearsal? allowed to leave? You know, when you're an understudy. Excuse me. I'm, you know, if you're the understudy, did you stay? You have to be there in the through, beginning. The beginning. But once the show gets on and going, she can leave. Yes. And then uh, how much time does, will they give her? One night, if it ever happens. I mean, when will she know? That's One minute before. No kidding. Sure. That's the whole point. Yes. Oh boy, oh boy, yeah. oh boy. There have been understudies that have had to go on in the middle of a show. Mm -hmm. In fact, we saw Pavarotti. That yeah. Pavarotti. The night, uh, we were there oh, the, the night, night Pavarotti uh, had vocal troubles, and he sang the first act, and the understudy went on in the second act. And how was it? <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I just can't imagine what that would be like. Well, Can you imagine a, replacing Pavarotti? <laughs> there's a wonderful French movie called End of the Day. Do you remember it? Mm -mm. it? From the great period of French film. And it takes place in an old actor's home. And they all sit around and tell <laughs> lies about their great days in the theater. <laughs> but one fellow was a professional understudy. Mm. And he understudied one man all his life. Oh my God. And the man was never sick. <laughs> the man has never been on stage. Oh my his entire life as an understudy, he never gave one performance. Oh, my God. This is a true story? No, no, it's a wonderful oh. movie. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's somebody out there like that. <laughs> okay. Let's give, um, let's give Tony a little plug here. The School yeah. for Scandal, in which Tony is appearing every night. Then our next show. Runs through this Sunday, and then the next show is a biggie. Listen to this. Inherit in the Wind. Inherit the Wind with... George C. Scott. And Charles, and Charles Durning. Durning. Yeah. Fabulous. That's going to be a big one. Yeah. And that will start... That in, starts in uh, February. In February. Fe February 27th is the first And that's preview. at the Lyceum Theater no. here in New York. Yeah. Tony, good luck to you. Thank you We're so much. We're so happy to have you. Thank you so much. Good luck to you. Sorry, Rachel. Okay, Martha, coming back in a little bit. We'll be right back. Thank you. Uh,